Man-to-man defense by the Highlanders. Here's Chandler Schmidt with the three. It's in and out, no good. Lacko with the rebound. Tubbs front court with it. Wearing the long sleeves tonight. Gets on the left side, lay it up, no good. The shot that time by McNeely, rebound taken down. I think Chandler Schmidt got a hand on that one to prevent it from going in. There's Dominic Schmidt, left wing. Over to East Stone, up top of the key to Frost. Get things reset, six and a half minutes left to play in the opening quarter, 2-0 our score. Chandler gets a pick, goes down inside the Frost. He goes up with a shot high off the backboard, lays it in, good. Kyle Frost ties it up at two apiece for Cabell Midland. Tubbs up front court, near side to Johnson. Draws the coverage there from Dominic Schmidt. Left wing, three-point shot's going to go short. Rebound put back up and in is good. Jackson with the shot. It was Tubbs there for the rebound and the putback. 4-2 the score. Dominic Schmidt brings it up across the timeline from left to right across your screen. Wearing black with that number 13. To Chandler to near side over to Fetty. And the bounce pass out of the inside over to East Stone. Back up to Fetty, back up to Schmidt. He'll reset it, 538. Waiting for the good shot here. A tough man-to-man defense here by Huntington High. Coach J.J. Martin giving the play call. Here goes Chandler Schmidt, three-point shot. Off the backboard, no good. The rebound taken down there by Jackson. We got a foul in the backcourt. Let's go against Cabell Midland. That's going to be against Jackson Fetty. It's number two on him. Team foul number two. 5.22 left to play. And a substitution coming up now as Cooper Gibson will check in now for Jackson Fetty. He'll sit down with those two fouls. Montez Tubbs has all the points so far for the Highlanders. Jackson with the ball, right side over to Johnson. Drives in, cut off, gets it into Locko. Back over right side, and we got a five-second lane violation. It's going to turn the ball back over to Cabell Midland. Gets Ty Holmes up off the bench, the head coach for Huntington High, and tell him to rotate. Frost up between the rings, draws the coverage of Jackson. To Dominic Schmidt on the left side, guarded there by Tubbs. He'll take a step back, NBA three, it's off the front of the rim, no good. Rebound taken down and then stripped out and stole away. McNeely had a hand on it, they go to the court, they got a jump ball, and possession arrow points in favor of Cabell Midland. Jack Eastone getting down and shaking it up in there. And a timeout taken by Cabell Midland. 30-second timeout. We'll keep it right here. 4-2 our score. And so far, it's been Montez Tubbs leading the way for the Highlanders. He's got all four points. Kyle Frost with the field goal for Cabell Midland. With 4.38 left to play here in this opening quarter. So far, two fouls committed by Cabell Midland. No fouls committed by Huntington High. Good look there at the Huntington Highlanders. And head coach Ty Holmes. This timeout taken by Cabell Midland. Out of the timeout, it will be Midland. Of course, the possession arrow pointing in favor of the Knights. So switches back over to Huntington High. Now with Dominic Schmidt working behind the pick from his brother. Goes over to the left side in the corner. Over to Gibson. Has tipped out, stolen away. Coming out with it is Johnson. Mikey Johnson on the run. One against three. He goes up, lays it in good. Mikey Johnson with his first field goal. Talk about explosive. Left side, Dominic Schmidt gets it over in the corner to Gibson. He'll take the three-point shot. It's good. Cooper Gibson with the three-pointer. the score. Highlanders on top. Tubbs comes back near side with it. Gets it over to McNeely. Cut off. Nice spin around move. He lays it in as good from Elite McNeely. Highlanders by three. 3.45 left to play here in this first quarter. 
Eastone sets it up from the point. Draws the coverage from McNeely. Gets it inside of the free throw line to Chandler Schmidt. Schmidt now with the count on has got to do something with it. Post it up there against Locko, and they're going to be pulls up with a shot, and a foul is going to be called against Huntington High. This will be Malik McNeely, his first team foul number one. Chandler Schmidt goes to the free throw line, looking for his first points of the night for the 6'1 senior. Shot, no good. Is good. Two-point ball game with 3.20 left to play. First quarter, Highlanders with the basketball. Here's Johnson, three-point shot off the mark. Rebound tipped out, controlled there by Locko. He'll go up with a shot, no good. Goes high up off the backboard, the rebound pulled down on the weak side by Dominic Schmidt. Works behind the pick from his brother, Dominic does. Now they'll have to reset. Eastone down inside the Chandler Schmidt takes a step in the paint, turn around off the front of the rim and rolls in good for him. Give him three points. We're tied up at eight. 239 left to play. Here in his first quarter. Nice move in the inside. I'm gonna call a travel. Against McNeely. Knights with a chance to take the lead, their first lead here of the night. Dominic Schmidt posted up there against Tubbs. Back up to Chandler Schmidt. Takes a step to his left, goes up with a shot. Air ball go out of bounds. And the crowd letting him know about it. Huntington High. Student section likes to refer to themselves as the Dew Crew. Something they started in football. They bring it over into basketball here, especially with the rival matchup tonight. Jackson with it. Down inside. Almost stolen away. Jackson gets it back. Turn around. Off the back of the rim. No good. And Eastone actually frosts with the rebound. Still tied up with a minute 45 left to play in the opening quarter. 8-8 eight, eight, our score. East Stone, top of the key. Works it around to the near side of the Schmidt brothers. Dominic with it right now, wearing number 13. Chandler wears number 23. Cut off there. Here's East Stone. Foul line extended right. Jumper is good. 122 mark. First lead for the Knights. 10 8. Top of the key, it's Tubbs, back over right side, gets it over to Johnson. Johnson drives in, tipped out, stolen away. Chandler Schmidt gets it out, gets it front court to Dominic, and it goes too far out in front. Under a minute left to play here in the opening quarter. Chance for Huntington High to regain the lead here this time down or take the lead of the three. Tubbs gets double pressure out on the perimeter. Gets it over to the left side, over to Malik Johnson, Jackson. Back to Tubbs, fakes left, goes right in. Little fingertip roll is good. Montez Tubbs with his six point. We're tied up at 10-10 with 39 seconds left. Dominic with the shot, top of the key, three-pointer. It's going to go out of bounds. seconds left. Now a chance for Huntington High. Coach J.J. Martin was wanting him to hold on to that a little bit longer to kill some clock. Martin will drive in, kicks it over to the right side. Here's Johnson with a shot. No good. Rebound tipped out, controlled by Chandler Schmidt. He gets it back off the head, though, of Johnson. Front court with 12 seconds left. 10 seconds left. 9-8 as they cross the timeline. Here goes Chandler Schmidt. Drives in. Pull-up jumper. Off the side of the rim is no good. Rebound tipped around, and it's going to be controlled by Frost. A jump ball. Possession arrow points in favor of of Huntington High with .8 seconds left.
4.8 seconds. Huntington High, a little discussion with the officials. It is Highlander basketball with .8 seconds. Tubbs is going to roll it in. Quick shot, and they're not going to do it. We go to half the end of the first quarter and a very entertaining first quarter. Huntington High, 10. Cabell Midland, 10. We're back after this break here on Kindred Digital Sports. The Marshall Orthopedics High School Basketball Showcase, presented by the Marshall Sports Medicine Institute, is brought to you in part by Jason W. Elkins at Elkins State Farm Agency. Jason can help you find coverage that works for you. Jason W. Elkins State Farm Agent, 4346 Fifth Street Road, Huntington. The Governor's Highway Safety Program, Griffith and File Pharmacy in Canova, serving the area since 1892. For quick, friendly, personal service with shorter wait times, come to Griffith and File and Kendrick Communications, kendredcom.net. An injury at any age can be a game changer. But with walk-in clinics Monday through Saturday, the Marshall Sports Medicine Institute is ready to get you off the bench and back in the game. Marshall Sports Medicine Institute takes care of the herd. Let us take care of you. An injury at any age can be a game changer. But Marshall Orthopedics, the area's only comprehensive sports medicine practice, is ready to get you off the bench and back in the game. Marshall Orthopedics takes care of the herd. Let us take care of you. Welcome back, everybody. we got a fresh eight minutes up on the clock. We go to the second quarter here, tied up at 10 apiece between Cabell Midland and Huntington High. In that first quarter, it was uh, led by Montez Tubbs with six points, two points for Mikey Johnson, and then two points from Malik McNeely for Huntington High. For Cabell Midland, Jack Keystone with two, Cooper Gibson with three, two points for Kyle Frost, and three points for Chandler Schmidt. Chandler Schmidt up in the front court. Down inside to Dominic Schmidt. He lays it up in. is good. Or excuse me, Chandler Schmidt lays it in. is good. Into the lineup now is Graves for Huntington High. He gets it down inside to Johnson. He lays it in. is good. 12-12 now. Works it around a circle to Gibson. Goes over to the left side, over to Eastone. He'll take a three, and it's good. Tubbs knows look pass to Locko. He takes the dribble, goes up with a shot, and we got a foul called against Cabell Midland. I think that's going to go against Jack Eastone. It is. That's going to be his first. Locko at the free throw line. Right-handed shooter. Shot up and away is good. Locko connects on both. Two points, and now it's a 15-14 game. Dominic Schmidt draws the attention of Tubbs, the defender. He wears number 11. In the long sleeves tonight. Jump ball, possession arrow, points in favor of Cabell Midland. Nope, not going to say punt goes in favor of Huntington High. Front court, Montez Tubbs with it. Up top of the key to McNeely. He drives in, and then Mc Chandler Schmidt. Tries to reach in, grab the ball away, and he does. And it'll be a foul against McNeely. It's going to be his second. Team foul number two. Stone with it over to Chandler Schmidt. 
He'll take the three-point shot off the front of the rim. No good. And the rebound taken down by Johnson on the run with it. Far side of your screen from right to left. And Gibson's going to get Gwissel for the reach in. It's going to be his first. Team foul number four. Shot, no good, and on the rebound is Tevin Taylor who checked in there at the break for number 21. 15-14 our score. Since the timeout, nobody's been able to get anything to connect. Taylor with the ball, hands it off over to Eastone. Dominic Schmidt with the ball. Left side over to Gibson. Back to Dominic. They're just waiting for a good shot here. The defense has been solid here by Huntington High. And there's where it pays off right there. Coming out with it is Johnson on the run all by himself. He'll jam it home. Mikey Johnson gets the bucket, gets the steal and the bucket, and the lead, 16-15. Tipped out. Locko steals it away on the short pass, and he goes back, gets it over to Tubbs. Tubbs right side, scoop shot, lays it in good. And a timeout's going to be taken by Cabell Midland. 30-second timeout taken by head coach J.J. Martin. Here's a look at the tip out on the steal there by Johnson. Johnson with the speed is able to get away, lays and jams it home on the two-ham jam. Two-ham? Two-ham jam. <laughs> Been a run here of six to three for Huntington High since the timeout. Well, 30 second break to look like turn into a full break. <laughs> All right, here we go. Full court pressure by Huntington High. As Dominic Schmidt will trigger the inbound at the baseline to the left side of your screen. To East Stone, front court. Guarded there by Mankin. Up to, Dom to Chandler Schmidt. Down low over to Frost. He'll lay it up in as good. Kyle Frost, the senior, with four points tonight. 18-17. Works it around the circle. Midland's stretching that defense out. Knocked out of bounds, controlled by the Highlanders. Edric Gray, uh, Graves will trigger the inbound. We're at number 23. In that left corner of your screen right there just outside the frame. Gets it into Tubbs. Has it tipped out. Knocked out of bounds by Cooper Gibson. Highlanders will maintain possession. This time will trigger the inbound right in front of the bench. Graves gets the inbounds. Tubbs gets it back. We'll reset things. Draws the coverage of Gibson. Near side order the Graves. Graves has it tipped out. Last touch by Graves. Turns the ball back over to Midland. Chance for the Knights to take the lead here. They trail by one, 18-17, with 4.32 left to play here in the first half. Quickly up into the front court. Frost has it with the numbers temporarily, but has to pull it back out to Chandler Schmidt. Chandler, between the leg dribble. Guarded there by Locko. Drives in, left side, goes up with a shot, draws the foul. And that's going to go against Gavin Locko. His first, team foul number three. That will put... Chandler Schmidt at the free throw line. Right-handed shooter. Be shooting two. 
One of two so far from the strike. Make it one of three. Second shot, no good. Rebound taken down by the Highlanders. They hold on to that one-point lead. Mikey Johnson with it to Locko. Back to Johnson, working around the circle, far side to Tubbs. Three-point shot is good. His first three-pointer of the night for Tubbs. 21-17 to score. Schmidt up in the front court. 3.50 left to play first half. Frost with it, working around the perimeter. On the near side. Down low into East Stone. Turn around in the paint. Off the back of the rim, no good. Frost with the rebound. Head fake up, goes up. Shot, no good. Gets his own rebound. Takes one dribble, goes up, draws the foul. <laughs> Foul's called against Mikey Johnson. His first, team foul number four. Kyle Frost at the free throw line for the senior. First shot, in and out, no good. <laughs> Substitution coming in. Aiden Cottrell checks into the lineup now for Cavill Midland. Wearing number 15, second shot up and away is good for Frost. 21-18 the score. Tubbs comes out with the basketball. Near side, over to Mankin. The Tubbs, double team at the quarter court. Tipped out, stole away. Tevin Taylor on the run. Taylor all by himself. He'll lay it up and good. Taylor with the steal. Taylor with the bucket. Three minutes left to play. First half. Locko, here he goes with a three. Off the side of the rim, no good. It's Chandler Schmidt with the rebound. Goes up high and pulls it down. Chandler over to Tevin Taylor. To Dominic Schmidt. He'll drive in, goes up, lays it in, good. That's the first points of the night for Dominic Schmidt. 22-21 the score. Back out on top of 2.30 left to play. Top of the key with it is Johnson. Johnson gets it down low inside the Tubbs. Nothing there. Cut off there by Schmidt. Pulls it back out near side. Mankin takes the three-point shot. It's good. Aiden Mankin with his first bucket of the night for the six-foot senior. Under two minutes left to play. Tight contest here for Cabell County Bragging Rights tonight. Chandler Schmidt drives in, left side, goes up with a shot. He will draw the foul, go back to the free throw line. Gavin Locko gets Wilson for his second, team foul number five. Chandler Schmidt at the free throw line. Hadn't been good so far tonight. One of four from the strike. Shot up a good. Malik McNeely checks back into the lineup, gives Tubbs a little breather. Tubbs been the hot hand tonight so far with 11 points. Chandler connects on both. Ties it up at 24 with a minute 44 left to play. First half. Tipped out, stolen away on the steal. Coming up with it is Swan. He'll lay it up, no good, but Locko gets the rebound. Swan who checked in during the timeout. Near side with the basketball over it's McNeely. Right side, three-point shot is Mankin by Good. Back-to-back three-pointers for Aiden Macon. 24-27. Minute 20 left to play. In this first half, Dominic Schmidt drives in. 
comes back up top of the key. Tipped out by Eastone and stolen away by McNeely. Front court with the ball. McNeely pulls up on the near side, takes a jumper, goes up high off the backboard. No good. The rebound taken down by Cabell Midland. Chance to burn some clock here and play for the final shot if they get elected to do so here with 54 seconds left to play in the first half. 27-24. Huntington High on top. Going to pass it around the circle a little bit. Frost back over to Dominic Schmidt. 35 seconds left. Up to Frost. To Chandler Schmidt near side. Mikey Johnson not going to let it. We've got a foul on the floor. This one might go against. It is Mikey Johnson. That's his second. Team foul number six. Eastone checks back in for Dominic Schmidt. Actually check that. It will be coming in as Aiden Cottrell. Substitution coming in for Huntington High. Malik Jackson will check in now for Mikey Johnson, who sits down with those two fouls and six points. 28 seconds left to play. A chance for Midland here to tie it up before halftime or at least cut it down to one. I'm going to let some clock roll here and play for the final shot. Chandler Schmidt goes down inside all alone, but all by himself underneath is Tevin Taylor to lay it in. If you're going to get an easy one, do it right there, 27-26. Huntington High, chance to play for the final shot. Locko drives in, tries to get it back to the hands. To Malik Johnson goes out of bounds, or Malik Jackson goes out of bounds. The Knights with the basketball with 2.3 seconds left and a chance to take the lead. Chandler Schmidt's going to pick it up, starts the clock right there. Brings it up front court. He's going to go with the shot. Nope, he's not going to get it off in time, even though it was good. Didn't get it off in time. Halftime, it's been an exciting ball game. It is Huntington High, 27. Cabell Midland, 26. Halftime report coming up next right here on Kindred Digital Sports. Planning for a funeral is never easy, and selecting the right mortuary can be important. Family owned and operated for over six decades, our family has helped other families going through the most difficult time. Chapman's Mortuary and Crematory can help you plan arrangements today or offer a pre-need funeral plan in line with your intimate wishes. And now we provide Huntington's only on-site crematory. Call us for a free consultation. Chapman's Mortuary and Crematory, serving the Tri-State for over 60 years. The, the need to try to be like somebody else or try to like one up somebody else. Um, you know, in my generation, it was keeping up with the Joneses. Um, and I think that can be distracting. Um, but I think that students, kind of like you were talking about earlier, I think that creating your story, that you, every person's unique. So like if you can tune out those other things, like there's room for you to be you and for you to do your thing. And it all fits together like a puzzle. Let's see what I need. I really don't have time to go myself. I know. I'll order and have it delivered. Food Fair, where convenience and quality meet. And now, home delivery. In the history of Dutch Miller Kia, there has never been a better time to trade in your car. Because of major supply chain disruptions, your vehicle is worth more than it ever has been. Even if you're not looking to trade in your car, we're interested in buying your vehicle at up to 30% above fair market value. We have customers trading in their vehicles that are getting more now than when they paid for it. Learn more and text or chat now at DutchMillerKia.com. For a limited time, get a brand new 2022 Sportage starting at just $189 a month. An injury at any age can be a game changer. But Marshall Orthopedics, the area's only comprehensive sports medicine practice, is ready to get you off the bench and back in the game. Marshall Orthopedics takes care of the herd. Let us take care of you. Did you know when you send or receive a text message, you take your eyes off the road for five seconds? At 55 miles per hour, that's like driving more than the length of a football field blindfolded. As a result, thousands of people die every year in crashes related to distracted driving. That's why we're cracking down on people who text or use their smartphones while driving. We would rather you cross the goal line alive. Law enforcement officers write tickets to save lives. Don't text and drive. 
a new day begins. And what happens today must be covered, reported, and passed on to everyone in the region we serve. We are journalists, staff writers, editors, storytellers. Who are we? We are HD Media, trustworthy and always here for the times we live in. Create your stories like to leave a legend where the kids will be talking about me like 50 years after I'm gone. And like then they will start writing their own stories. Maybe my kids will want to read about what I was dealing with, what I was going through, how I encouraged myself, how my teachers encouraged me. So if I leave something for them, then it's just going to keep going, you know, and it'll be a story that never ends. So it's the never ending story. An injury at any age can be a game changer. But with walk-in clinics Monday through Saturday, the Marshall Sports Medicine Institute is ready to get you off the bench and back in the game. Marshall Sports Medicine Institute takes care of the herd. Let us take care of you. Welcome back, everybody. Halftime here in Huntington as Huntington High on top of Cabell Midland by a score 27-26 in a big Cabell County rivalry matchup here on our Kindred Digital Basketball Showcase from Marshall Orthopedics, Marshall Sports Medicine Institute, and Cabell County Schools. Jason Toy here with you. Thanks to uh, Robbie, uh, Robbie Mount here with us as well and the whole crew as we bring it to you with video productions here tonight. Thanks for checking in. We've had a great one so far. It's been tight. Matter of fact, we had several lead changes, and Midland finally getting their first lead at the end of the, at the start of the, the uh, third quarter. Went out 10-12 or 12-10, and it was back and forth from there. With some three-pointers, free throws connected, some free throws missed. But now we stand at 27-26. Here's a look at scoring from the first half. The Knights are led by Chandler Schmidt. Slow start, picked it up in the second quarter. He's got seven points on the night. Five points for Kyle Frost, five points for Jack Eastone. Also, uh, Dominic Schmidt with two points. And uh, off the bench, it was Cooper Gibson with three points, Tevin Taylor with four points for the Knights. Foul-wise, Jackson Fetty with two fouls. He sat down early in the first quarter after getting the start here tonight. Cooper Gibson with a foul. Jack Eastone with a foul as well. On the other side of the basketball for Huntington High, on top of 27-26. They are paced by a very hot performance from Montez Tubbs. Tubbs had six points in the first quarter, picked up five in the second. He has 11 points total here tonight for Montez Tubbs. Six points apiece for Aiden Mankin, who came in off the bench. He had back-to-back three-pointers there late in the second quarter. Mikey Johnson with six points. He had four points in the second quarter. Malik McNeely with two. And uh, Gavin Locko, who got the start here tonight, he picked up two points as well. Malik Jackson, who was one of the starters tonight, did not get a point in the in the first half. But solid shooting for Aiden Mankin coming off the bench with a six-foot senior here tonight. So we've had a great contest. Looking forward to having a great second half here. It's been vocal. It's been uh, enthusiastic. <laughs> Just like we expected to have tonight anytime these two teams get together on the court. We were scheduled last night to have Huntington High and Cavill Midland girls but obviously with no school that took away that game. That has been rescheduled for later on in February. We'll have it here for you on Kindred Digital Sports at the Marshall Orthopedics and the Marshall Sports Medicine Institute along with Cabell County Schools. So once again, our halftime score, it is Huntington High 27, Cabell Midland 26. As the teams get ready to make their way back out to get warmed up on the court, second half action coming up next right here on Kindred Digital Sports. A new day begins. And what happens today must be covered, reported, and passed on to everyone in the region we serve. We are journalists, staff writers, editors, storytellers. Who are we? We are HD Media, trustworthy and always here for the times we live in. What started as the Parmar Oil Company in 1967 has grown into 116 convenience stores in four states. Parmar convenience stores offer monthly product specials and grab-and-go items. Located just down the street from where you live, Parmar stores are all about being your above-par convenience store. If you don't have a Parmar store near you now, you will soon. Parmar convenience stores, neighbors serving your community and making life a little bit easier every day. 
Dillian. I go here to Cabell Midland. I've been twirling kind of forever since I was like five. This summer I went to some baton camps, toured a lot of colleges, architecture program at the University of Cincinnati. I'm the feature twirler for the marching nights, so we work all the time. We're here four, four weeks in the summer, eight to five, so it's a lot of hard work, but it's really worth it whenever you get to perform. Did you know, when you send or receive a text message, you take your eyes off the road for five seconds? At 55 miles an hour, that's like driving more than the length of a football field, blindfolded. As a result, thousands of people die every year in crashes related to distracted driving. That's why we're cracking down on people who text or use their smartphones while driving. We would rather you cross the goal line alive. Law enforcement officers write tickets to save lives. Don't text and drive. Welcome back, everybody. Second half action getting ready here for us as Huntington High plays host to the Cabell Midland Knights here this evening. Been a great contest to start things off. 27-26 is our score with Huntington High on top. Matter of fact, both teams had a couple of opportunities there at the end of that first half to be able to either regain the lead or hold on to the lead or take the lead. And it was back and forth there. And it's been a great contest here tonight between these two schools. And like I said, record-wise, hasn't been the greatest of seasons for both these teams. Midland at 4-6, and six, Huntington High at 6-5. and five. But it doesn't matter when you get these two teams on the court or anywhere. You get them on the baseball diamond, softball field, football field, anywhere, it's always going to be a rival matchup. You're going to get see some intensity. And so far, we've seen that tonight. And so far, both teams have played uh, very very well and not letting emotions get the best of it but we do have the second half coming up next here on kindred digital sports again your leading scorers on the night chandler schmidt with seven points for cabell midland to pace them it's 11 points for montez tubbs tonight to lead the highlanders as final instructions for both teams and we get ready for the second half here tonight we're glad you're along with us here on our kindred digital sports presentation On the court for Huntington High, Malik McNeely. Also out there wearing number 13, Gavin Locko. Tubbs back out wearing number 11. Mikey Johnson wearing number 2. And also Malik Jackson, the original starting 5. Malik Jackson wearing number 1. On the court, the original starting 5 for Cabell Midland. Jack Eastone at number 2. Dominic Schmidt wearing number 13. Kyle Frost, number 22. Chandler Schmidt, number 23. And Jackson Fetty, who had foul trouble early in the first quarter. He's back out. He wears number 24. Officials waiting for a little bit of the fans to, to make some room at midcourt. We'll trigger the inbound. It will be Jackson Fetty. Fetty goes in the backcourt over to Dominic Schnitt. The Knights in the black uniforms going right to left across your screen here tonight. Fetty gets it over to Frost. Back to Chandler Schmidt. Chandler got it there by Locko. Goes down inside to his younger brother, Dominic. Turn around. Jumper, no good. Rebound on the weak side. Taken down by Eastone. He goes over the shot. No good. Fetty there with a rebound on the putback. Fetty with his first points of the contest. 28-27. Tubbs, front court. To Locko down low. Gets it in there to McNeely. Works it back around the circle. Left side over to Jackson. Down low once again to McNeely. Shot no good. The rebound taken down there by Huntington High. Coming down with it is Jackson. And a jump ball possession error points in favor of Huntington High. They'll maintain possession. Jackson gets the inbounds in the tubs. Trips up a little bit there but keeps his feet. Left wing, three-point shot, no good. Rebound tipped out by Locko and taken down by Fetty. Gets it up there to Dominic Schmidt. He'll bring it up into the front court. Under seven minutes left to play in this third quarter. Knights on top, 28-27. Near side corner with it to Fetty. Bounce pass, working around the perimeter, back to Dominic Schmidt. He'll take a big-time MP3, no good. But his brother's there, rebound put back, no good. Rebound tipped out, controlled by Cabell Midlands. Good save that time there by Frost. Good job on the quick hands by Frost to be able to save it. 
Here goes Frost in the three-point shot. Trying to bank it in. No good. Rebound taken down by Laco. On the run. Here's McNeely with it. Back check that Johnson. No good. And the rebound taken down by Frost. Gets it back over to Chandler Schmidt. Sloppy start for both teams here in this third quarter. East Stone forcing the turnover. And jump ball. Possession error points in favor of Cabell Midlow. Points in favor of Huntington High. As Frost. So it should be Midland's ball. So the officials are discussing. And our officials tonight, Kent Wilkinson, Ken Sams, Tommy Riggins. And I think he had to fix his whistle, too. That was the reason why the delay. <laughs> the chain came off his whistle. All right, so the basketball possession air points in favor of Cabell Midland. Chandler Schmidt with it over. On the far side, he'll take, step back, take the three. It's good. Chandler Schmidt with his first three-pointer of the ball game, 31-27. Front court, Tubbs, far side, Locko. Working it back up top of the key, bobbled out there, controlled by Johnson. Right side, gets it over to Jackson. In and out shot taken by McNeely. Rebound taken down there by Frost. Front court with the ball is Dominic Schmidt. Down inside the Fetty. He'll turn around off the backboard, no good. Rebound tipped out and controlled by Malik Jackson. Alley oop, shot, lays it in good and a foul. Mikey Johnson with his first field goal of the second half. Up on the court, saw it, set it up, and laid it in, and he got the free throw. He's going to go to the free throw line. Foul's called against Jack Eastone. It's going to be his second. Team foul number one, and he connects on the free throw. Thirty-one, thirty. Johnson gets that three-point play with the bucket and the foul. There goes Frost on the drive in, cuts it back out over to Dominic Schmidt. He'll take the three. It's no good. Rebound chased down in the near corner by Locko. Front court. Here's McNeely. Goes in. Nothing there and gets it back out. McNeely inside the paint. Goes down along the baseline. Rejected out there. Trying to get it into Jackson. That was Frost that got a hand on it. Here's Frost, left wing, left all alone, three-pointer, no good. And the rebound taken down there by the Highlanders. Coming out with it. Front court, it's Johnson. Gets it over, he'll lay it in good. Timeout taken by Cabell Midland. Full timeout, we'll take one ourselves. Huntington High coming alive, they're on top, 32-31. We're back after this break here on Kindred Digital Sports. The spirit of competition. You see it throughout the community. Friends and neighbors challenging themselves in whatever they do. Giving it their all. Since 1901, Putnam County Bank is right there with you. Competing for your business. Stepping up for our community. And moving our region forward. That's why Putnam County Bank is proud to be your hometown bank. Making our community stronger. All while striving to be the best. Helping you develop and grow. That's the goal of Putnam County Bank. Hi, my name is Connor Pritchard, and this is my story. In sixth grade, a teacher had asked me if I would be interested in doing the announcements. I ended up going to the office every day for about two weeks, taught me the ropes, showed me around. I know it's definitely helped with my improvisation skills, so if I need to get something on the fly or throw something into a conversation, I can integrate it a lot better. I really love doing the announcements here. It's one of my favorite things to do here at Milton Middle. It's always nice just to know that I can add a little bit of positivity. To share your story, visit cabellschools.com.
All right, out of the timeout. Huntington High really exploded there the last minute or so of this game. Outscoring Cabell Midland here down the stretch. And they regain the lead, 32-31. Here's Eastone with the ball over to Gibson, who checked in during the break. Chandler Schmidt, he gets double team out in the perimeter. Near side to Dominic. Dominic goes down inside to Chandler. He goes over the shot, no good, but he does draw the foul. No, they're going to whistle him for the foul. Nope. It's against Laco. His third. His first, team foul number one. It's going to force Ty Holmes to go to the bench. Laco with two, with three fouls. First shot up and away is good. Amir White will check in, wearing number 12. Laco will come off towards the near side. Tie ball game, actually two-point ball game, 33-31. Should be 32. Thirty-two. That's what I thought. Schmidt at the free throw line. It's up and away is good. Slow start at the stripes. Picked up pretty well here for Chandler Schmidt. Gives his team the lead. 33-32. Three and a half minutes left to play, or approaching three and a half minutes left to play in the third quarter. Near side corner. Here's a three-point shot. High arcing. No good. There by Jackson. Chandler Schmidt with the rebound. Schmidt front court with it. No look pass towards the near side. Gets it to Dominic. He'll take the three. Goes off the backboard. No good. Rebound taken down by White. He goes on the run with it. Bounce pass on the near side to Jackson. Back over the right wing over to Johnson. He goes in baseline. Lays it in good. Gives the lead back to Huntington High. 34-33. Midland resetting with Gibson up top of the key. Near side. Now Eastone with it. We're in number two. Bounce pass in to Chandler Schmidt. It's double teamed down on the inside. He'll force him to bring it back out to reset it. He'll just take the three. Left wing, good. Chandler Schmidt with a three-pointer. He has two three-pointers here in this third quarter. Lead back into the hands now once again of Cavill Midland. 36-34. Setting up the... Alley-oop, nothing there as White goes up with a shot. Rebound pulled down by Dominic Schmidt. Tubbs is looking for him down there. Very physical down in the paint. I think it's Ty Holmes into the ear of the official. He comes up towards the front side of the court with Dominic Schmidt. Excuse me, the Chandler Schmidt to Dominic. Eastone back over to Chandler. Chandler looks to Taylor, the far side, at a five-second call. They're going to say it's a turnover. Mid at 55, left to play. Tipped out, and Eastone steals it, keeps it from going out of bounds. Gets it up in the front court. Dominic Schmidt pulls up, goes up with a shot, lays it in good. And a timeout taken by Huntington High with a minute 41 left to play. It's a full timeout. Cabell Midland out to their biggest lead, 38-34. Breaking the action here on Kindred Digital Sports. Each of us carries an anchor. It can hold us back. But when we toss it forward into the future, something amazing happens. Our unique dreams built off hard work take shape. At Mount West, struggle does not mean defeat, and tough times will not divide us. So what are you waiting for? Enroll today. Go far, close to home. Mount West Community and Technical College. What started as the Parmar Oil Company in 1967 has grown into 116 convenience stores in four states. Parmar convenience stores offer monthly product specials and grab-and-go items. 
Located just down the street from where you live, Parmar stores are all about being your above-par convenience store. If you don't have a Parmar store near you now, you will soon. Parmar Convenience Stores, neighbors serving your community and making life a little bit easier every day. Out of the timeout. It's Huntington High with the basketball with a minute 41 left to play here in this third quarter. The Knights have jumped back out to a four-point lead, their biggest of the night, 38-34. Huntington High trying to answer out of the timeout. Tubbs with it on the near side. Double team gets up top of the key, and we got a foul called against Cabell Midland. That's going to go against Tevin Taylor. It's going to be his first team foul, number two. Minute 27 left to play. White with the inbounds pass goes up on the top of the key to McNeely. McNeely dribbles right side, and a reach-in foul is going to be called against Dominic Schmidt. It's going to be his first, team foul number three. Be on the court with a minute 24 left to play in this third quarter. Amir's up with the shot, no good. Rebound taken down by White. Has to dribble back out, and he goes in the backcourt, and that's going to be saved from going out of bounds and then turned over. Good job by Locko to give him the shot. He turns the ball back over to Cabell Midland. Eastone will go with the inbounds. The right corner of your screen. Chandler Schmidt dribbles through, goes up with a shot, no good. White tips out the rebound. Battled for, White comes out with it. Comes back over to the near side to Locko. Left side over to McNeely. To Graves, to Locko, back up, working around the circle. The Knights doing a great job inside defensively. Trapping over in the far corner with White, forcing the dribble out, and he does, and he gets away with it. How did he do that? Shot no good of the rebound taken down there by Frost. We're tied at 41 with 5.35 left to play on a rolling clock. Dominic Schmidt working behind the pick from Frost. Dribbles left wing, gets back over to Frost, right side. Gets it over, three-point shot taken there by Gibson, no good. And rebound as two players come together. Eastone comes together there with Mikey Johnson. Help each other up. Eastone with a shot to the back of the head. Foul's going to be called against Eastone. It's going to be his fourth, or his, excuse me, his third. It's going to be uh, shooting one in the bonus coming up here. Montez Tubbs. Or check that. It will be Mikey Johnson going to the free throw line. That's the third foul against Jack Eastone. Chance to regain the lead here at the stripe for Mikey Johnson. Been perfect on the stripe. Three of three so far tonight. First shot up and away is good. Gives the lead back over to Huntington High, 42-41. Second shot for Johnson is good. Think about the way Mikey Johnson plays. It's fantastic and the speed that he has, and he's only a sophomore. Got like some years to build with him here in this program. Dominic Schmidt gets it up over to Eastone on the right side. The Frost near side over to Chandler Schmidt. Fakes right, goes left, pull up jumper, side of the rim, no good. Rebound taken down there by Johnson on the run. Gets it up to Tubbs. Tubbs, scoop shot, lays in good. That's the first points for Montez Tubbs here in this second half. back out to a four-point lead for Huntington High. Frost front court. Chandler Schmidt pulls it back out and resets the offense, gets a rotation going with four and a half minutes left to play in regulation. Near side over to Eastone. He drives into the paint, scoop shot, going to be rejected out there, hand on it by McNeely. 
Turns the ball back over to Huntington High. Locko, front court, gets it over left side to Tubbs. Shot no good, and a rebound. And a foul's going to be called against Huntington High. That's well, going to be fouled against Huntington High. Shut up, number two. It's Mikey Johnson. That's his fourth. Team foul number three. Dominic Schmidt with the ball. Kick ball by Locko. We'll reset things for the Knights. Of course, the substitution coming up now once again for White will check back in. In for Mikey Johnson. who have to sit down with those four fouls. Might need him a little bit later on. 4.05 left to play in regulation. Dominic near side the Frost. He'll take the three off the front of the iron. No good. It's Chandler Schmidt underneath with the rebound of the putback. Forty-five, forty-three. Here's McNeely. He drives in baseline, lays it up with a shot. Nope. They're gonna say he took. He got the charge call. McNeely. Here's a look at our replays. He drives in, and it looked like East Stone had his feet planted. And that is number three on McNeely. Team foul number four. Substitutions coming in. Gibson will go out. Devin Taylor will check back into the lineup. Three forty left to play. It's a two-point ball game. Forty-five, forty-three. Huntington High on top. Chandler Schmidt inside goes up with a shot, no good, and we'll get him whistle for the charge. McNeely had his feet planted. Chandler gets whistled for his first. Team foul number eight. 331 left to play in regulation. 45-43. Front court for Tubbs. Drives in, has his pocket picked by Chandler Schmidt. Tevin Taylor trying to get a hand on it, stepped on the baseline. Taylor will come out. Fetty will check in. Locko triggers the inbounds, gets it in the tubs. He'll drive into the paint. Left side over to McNeely. He'll take the three. It's in and out. No good. Rebound taken down on the weak side by East Stone. Middle of the chance. Tie it up. Take the lead. This time down with 3.09 left to play in regulation. Huntington High on top, 45-43. Here's Chandler Schmidt, NBA three. Shot no good. Rebound saved from going out of bounds by East Stone in the hands of Frost. Left side to Dominic Schmidt. And the ball's going to go in the backcourt. It's going to be chased down by Locko. Goes back into the hands. Oh, nope. They're going to say stepped on the baseline. No shot. He was out of bounds with the shot. Tevin Taylor will check back in. Give Frost a breather. Did a great job in chasing down the ball. Just had his foot on the baseline. Ken Wilkinson. Lead official here was on the call on that one. Near side. Bedlam of the basketball. Dominic Schmidt, top of the key to Frost. Frost drives in. So check that. Jackson shot no good. Rebound taken down by Chandler Schmidt. He bounced it off the back of McNeely. They're going to say he was standing on the baseline. Yeah, he had a foot out of bounds. Looked like that left foot was out of bounds. Two twenty-nine left to play. Regulation 45-43. Here's Tubbs with the left wing. Locko. Over to Graves. And a travel call against Graves. Turns the ball back over to Cabell Midland. Jackson Fetty will trigger the inbound. (laughs) 
Gets it in to Chandler Schmidt. Dominic. Excuse me. To, uh, went, to Ch Ch went to Dominic. Went to Chandler now. He has it wearing number 23. Two minutes left to play. Tevin Taylor with the ball out in the perimeter. Hands a bounce pass over to East Stone. Back to Chandler Schmidt. Draws Locko. Works behind the pick. Drives in. Has his pocket pick. Tipped out. Stolen away by Huntington High. And kind of a foul called against East Stone. That's number four on him. Number four on East Stone. Team foul number nine. Double bonus rest of the way for Huntington High with a minute 47 left to play in regulation. First shot up and away is good by Mikey Johnson. Perfect from the free throw line tonight. Left-handed shooter for the sophomore. Second shot's good. 47-43. It's a four-point ball game once again for the Highlanders. Midland trying to answer. Dominic Schmidt front court. Dribbles left side, goes in with a shot, and we got a foul on the floor. It will go against Montez Tubbs. It's going to be his first. Team foul number five. 139 left to play. In regulation here on this one. And I, I say regulation, folks, because we might go to extra time on this one. Dominic Schmidt or Chandler Schmidt gets the inbound in from Dominic. No good. And the rebound taken down there by Graves for Huntington High. Tubbs on the run with it. Sets up the alley oop to White. He lays it in as good. 49-43, it's out the six-point lead, biggest of the night. Dominic takes a step back, left-handed shot, no good, and a foul is going to be called against Huntington High. Locko gets whistled for the foul. That's going to be number four on him. Minute 14 left to play. Team foul number six. Bonus coming up the rest of the way. That's number four on Locko. Dominic gets it in to Chandler. Chandler takes a step. Foul line extended right. No good. Rebound taken down there by Johnson. And a foul is going to be called against Cavill Midland. I think this one might go against Tevin Taylor. Nope, it's going to be against Jack Eastone. That's number five on him. Eastone is going to set down with a minute seven left to play with five points. Aiden Cottrell will check back in the junior. Eastone, five points in the first half. Goes out at the 107 mark here in this ball game. Mikey Johnson back at the free throw line where he's been perfect so far tonight. Eight of eight from the stripe tonight. Second shot is good. Nine of nine from the free throw line. 30-second timeout taken by Coach Ty Holmes for Huntington High. This game stayed tight. Matter of fact, the biggest lead we had was four, jumped out to six. Now it's up to seven. It looked a great look pass there by Tubbs, finding a streaking Kamara White. He lays it in as good. White added to the roster this week. Minute seven left to play in regulation. Huntington High with the lead right now. Up next, the Highlanders will be at Hurricane coming up next week. Cabell Midland, they will be at home against Hurricane. That'll be our next Kindred Digital Sports broadcast. Coming up on the 25th. Front court quickly with a minute five left to play. Dominic Schmidt drives in, works behind the pick from his brother, lowers his shoulder, goes in with a shot, and it is in and out no good. And that one's going to go against Huntington High. That could be against Locko. And that's number five on Locko. He will foul out at 58 seconds left. Up. 
Uh, number five on him. McNeely will check back into the lineup. We're in number four. That puts Dominic Schmidt at the free throw line, shooting two. With 58.3 seconds left to play. Here's a shot. Up and away is good. Dominic's first free throw attempt on the night. Second shot, good. Fifty-one forty-five. Behind the back, Johnson with a nice move goes over the far side to Tubbs. Tubbs dribbles through, goes up left side, shot no good, but the rebound of the put back there by Mikey Johnson, who's just having a great night tonight. Fifty-three forty-five. Thirty-seven seconds left. Here's Chandler Schmidt, three-point shot, no good. Rebound tipped out, controlled by Dominic. Dominic taking the dribble back out on the near side. Lowers his shoulder, goes up with a shot. It's going to be rejected out, but a foul is going to be called against McNeely. It's going to be his fourth. They'll put Dominic Schmidt back at the free throw line. Number four for McNeely. With 26 seconds left to play in regulation. 53-45 to score. Dominic's free throw up and away is good. Give him seven so far tonight, 53-46. Second free throw is good. With the basketball left side to Johnson, gets it over to White. He goes up trying to shot, and he gets knocked down to the fort. Cottrell's going to get whistled for the foul on that one. That's going to put White at the free throw line, shooting two. Gets the run with it. Trying to go up. Cottrell got a hand on it, and then a little bit more than that. White hit the court hard, but he jumped back up. Free throw, good. Fifty-four, forty-seven. Second free throw, no good. Rebound taken down by Cottrell. White trying to chase it down. Coach Ty Holmes says, uh, just let it go. Let the clock roll. Tevin Taylor, left side, shot no good. Rebound taken down by Johnson. Johnson front court quickly to White. He's going to jam it home. Nope, he misses it. Chandler Schmidt with the rebound. Four seconds left, half court. Gets it near side to Dominic. He'll take the three-point shot off the side of the rim. No good. 54-47, the final score tonight. Huntington High coming away with the victory over the Cabell Midland Knights. As the Knights improve, or the uh, Highlanders improve the 7-5 and five on the season, Midland dropping to 4-7. and seven. We'll come back, we'll recap the scoring in this one. Big win tonight for Huntington High over Midland here on Kindred Digital Sports. A new day begins. And what happens today must be covered, reported, and passed on to everyone in the region we serve. We are journalists, staff writers, editors, storytellers. Who are we? We are HD Media, trustworthy and always here for the times we live in. What started as the Parmar Oil Company in 1967 has grown into 116 convenience stores in four states. Parmar convenience stores offer monthly product specials and grab-and-go items. Located just down the street from where you live, Parmar stores are all about being your above-par convenience store. If you don't have a Parmar store near you now, you will soon. Parmar convenience stores, neighbors serving your community and making life a little bit easier every day. Jillian, I go here to Cabell Midland. I've been twirling kind of forever since I was like five. This summer I went to some baton camps, toured a lot of colleges, architecture program at the University of Cincinnati. I'm the feature twirler for the marching nights, so we work all the time. We're here four, four weeks in the summer, eight to five, so it's a lot of hard work, but it's really worth it whenever you get to perform. 
Did you know, when you send or receive a text message, you take your eyes off the road for five seconds? At 55 miles an hour, that's like driving more than the length of a football field, blindfolded. As a result, thousands of people die every year in crashes related to distracted driving. That's why we're cracking down on people who text or use their smartphones while driving. We would rather you cross the goal line alive. Law enforcement officers write tickets to save lives. Don't text and drive. Welcome back, everybody. We knew we were going to have a good one tonight, and we did. 54-47, our final score. Huntington High with the victory over Cabell Midland and a very hard-fought battle here tonight. Taking a look at scoring in this ball game for Cabell Midland. It drops to 4-7 and seven on the season. 20 points for Chandler Schmidt. Exploded in the second half. Had uh, three three-pointers to lead the way on that one. 20 points for him. Eight points for Dominic Schmidt. Five points apiece for Kyle Frost, Jack Eastone. Four points for Tevin Taylor. Three points for Cooper Gibson off the bench. And Jackson Fetty with two points on the night. For Huntington High, 23-point performance for Mikey Johnson, who had a big second half. He only had six points at the break, but he was perfect from the free throw line tonight. Matter of fact, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine of nine from the free throw line tonight for Mikey Johnson. 13 points for Montez Tubbs, 11 of those coming in the first half. And then after that, six points for Mikey Johnson, six points for Aiden Mankin, five points for Amir White, and then also uh, five points for Gavin Locko, two points for Malik McNeely here this evening. Cabell Midland, like we said, back in action again next week against Hurricane. We'll have that broadcast for you right here on Kindred Digital Sports. For Huntington High, they will be on the road taking on Hurricane on the 27th, so they'll get about six days off. We'll be back here with Huntington High when they take on Greenbrier East, I believe, also St. Joe as well. So a uh, big win here tonight for Huntington High. They improved the 7-5 and five on the season. Big thanks to Robbie Mountain, the rest of the crew with video productions. Jason Toy here with you, thanking you for joining us tonight. Big win tonight for Huntington High. They get to hold on to the bragging rights a little while longer. 54-47 final score. Huntington High with the win over Midland. For our entire crew, have a great weekend, everybody. And good